And now an update to a story we first brought to you last summer. It's about a local woman and her boyfriend who were set to go on a worldwide motorcycle journey. The goal? Create art. However, the pair split. But for at least one, that journey continued. WFMZ's Josh Rotenberg explains. Eight months ago, Chelsea Southern says she took a hard look at her life after her three-year relationship ended. I was very lost and sad, and, and, um, but this was my anchor. This was the one constant thing in my life that I had been planning for over four years. Southern, a 29-year-old artist from Fountain Hill, grabbed her life savings, packed what she could fit on her back. I have like two pairs of pants, four shirts, you know, like one dress. And took her Suzuki DR650. So are you ready? To zigzag through Mexico and Central America. I call it my odyssey. She's been on the road the last 220 days, but Chelsea's Odyssey hasn't completely been a smooth ride. She hit a major bump just 10 days in while traveling through the Sierra Madre Occidental in Chihuahua, Mexico. I got caught in a landslide. Southern was separated from her bike and civilization for almost a week. I had like a little bit of water and like a can of food. A day or two more and I wouldn't have survived. She says technology, her family and locals saved her life. Chelsea spent five months in Mexico before riding to Guatemala. There, she's been designing an ancient sweat lodge called a Temescal so locals can attract tourists. It's definitely the biggest permanent piece I've ever done. She hopes to finish it in the next two months. Then she'll either temporarily come back to the Lehigh Valley to do artwork here or continue on to South America. What would you say to people that maybe want to follow in your footsteps? Let go of fear and just get out there. Because the world has so much to offer you that you don't even, you can't even comprehend. Her odyssey is called the Unis Munis Project, or One World. And it has, you know, really made me see how interconnected the whole world is, especially when you move through it like I do. Now, she's not shutting the door on anything. In Fountain Hill, Josh Rotenberg, 69 News.